In this video, I will show you how to make a simple house in SketchUp using very basic drawing tools and 3D warehouse. First, activate the rectangle tool by clicking this icon. Choose the first point, click and release. And now simply type 16 feet, comma, 10 feet and 6 inches. You can see in the lower right corner and press enter. Draw another rectangle. Choose the first point and now again type 40 feet and 16 feet. You can see in the lower right corner and press enter. Now delete this line. Activate the eraser tool and delete it. Now activate the push pull tool by clicking this icon here and move it upward and now type 11 feet and press enter. Activate the line tool. Choose the first point and end point. Now I am working on roof. So next line I want to draw between these two lines. So choose the midpoint. Click and release. And the end point. And the next line is also between these two lines. Choose the midpoint. Now select these two lines, this one and this one. Hold down the control key and select it. Now activate the move tool by clicking this icon here. And move it upward. Simply type 5 feet and press enter. Now I would like to add eaves. Simply rotate the bottom face. And now activate the offset tool. Simply click on the face. And now type 5 or 6 inches. And press enter. You can see distance in the lower right corner. 6 inches and press enter. Now activate the push pull tool and push it upward on edge. Now I would like to add roof thickness. First I will create some guidelines. Activate the tape mirror tool. And I would like to add guidelines at 5 inches. Again 5 inches from this side. 5 inches. And now activate the line tool. Draw lines. Same. Repeat the process. Activate the tape mirror tool. Again, create guidelines at 5 inches. This side. 5 inches from this side. Activate the line tool. And draw lines. Now, I would like to delete guidelines. Simply go to edit and delete guides. And now activate the push pull tool and push it backward. Again push it backward. And now erase the line this one and this one. Now I want to add chimney. So 
Again, activate the tape measure tool. Create some guidelines. Two feet. Again, two feet. Now, activate the line tool. Three feet. Move it upward. I want a line along blue axis. Again, activate the push-pull tool. Here, we can give some width. 30 inches is enough, I think. And again, push-pull tool. Move it upward. Mm, I think 2 feet is enough. Again, go to Edit and Delete Guides. Now activate the offset tool, click on the face and we can give offset at 3 inches. Three inches. Now I would like to add door using rectangle tool. Activate the tool. Choose the first point. And now simply type four feet and seven feet. You can see in the lower right corner and press enter. And now pre-select the lines. Hold down the control key and select one by one. And now activate the offset tool. And I would like offset at 3 inches. Pull it upward 3 inches. And 2 inches. Now I would like to add windows from 3D Warehouse. Simply click on this icon 3D Warehouse. First you have to sign up for downloading models and then search over here and press enter. And now we can download windows. I would like to download this window. Simply click on the window and download it. You can see it attached with cursor and now I can place anywhere. Simply hover over this point and move the cursor. I would like to place this window over here. And now I need some guidelines as a reference to place another window over here. Activate the tape measure tool. And now again repeat the process. Click on this icon. I would like to download same window, this one, and download it. And we can place over here. Again, delete the guidelines, delete guides. Now I have to add materials and texture on this model. First go to window, default tray, show tray 
Now again go to window, default tray and check materials. Now over here go to roofing. Now I would like to add this material or texture on roof. Simply click and release. We can also apply some material on chimney, this one. We have to add material on all the faces. Now choose wood and I would like to add this texture on the door. And now we can add anything like uh, we can choose metal and apply this metal on the door frame. We can also apply over here. Now go to Brick cladding and siding. Select this face. We can also add external material or texture file. So simply go to edit and click over here. Browse for material image file and select this one and open it. Now we can apply this one on the walls simply click and release now i would like to add shadow simply go to shadow and click over here this icon and use sun for shading now you can see the shade of the small house on the ground you can also change time and date you can observe the change in shadow by changing date month and time you can see 